Hello, good afternoon, y'all. I'm back again before you with another video. What's up, my beautiful people? How are Brenda's beauties out there today? Well, okay, I'm gonna tell you what my hopes are is that you're all doing great. Yep, me, thanks for asking. I'm doing very well. I really am. You know, I'm just, you know, the joy of the Lord is my strength, and I've just been feeling awesome, guys, really awesome. Yep, I have. So, you know, anyway. <laughs> Today, guys, I have something a little special for you. And I don't know, you may not consider it that, but I do. I've been talking to you about it for a while. And, uh, hmm, wow. Well, let me see. Let me lift it up because you, uh, there it is. I'm just going to lift it up right here because my table is a little low today. So, you know, you can't see it, but you're going to see it as I eat it. <laughs> How about that? Yeah. But anyway, so anyway, guys, uh, and listen. This is going to be a short video today, guys. It's going to be a short one, and you know, but we're just going to enjoy being, we're just going to enjoy kicking with each other for a short time. So let me go ahead and uh, say my prayers, God, guys, so we can get it in. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come before you, Father God, thanking and praising you for your goodness, for your goodness. Lord, we thank and praise you for this day that you have made for us. I thank you, Father God, for this food that I'm about to receive. And I ask, God, that you let it be used as nourishment for my body. Remove all the impurities from this food, Father God. I ask, Father God, that you would feed the homeless and the hungry, God. And, Father, I ask that you would continue, Lord, to heal the sick, because you are the healer. You are the great physician. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. We thank you. We give you honor. Glory, 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 y'all. So, anyway, guys, in Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> Yeah, for drinking I have water, guys. And you know, I got my little stand bound deck, y'all. So listen. So anyway, you know, those of you who know, you know, know my story, you guys know that, you know, I spent some time in the big house. <laughs> you know, yeah. That uh, you know, I spent uh, 18 years in prison. Y'all already know that. Don't act like you don't know, because yeah, you know, uh I'm very transparent. I don't hide nothing from you, and if you want to know something, all you got to do is ask me, and I'll tell you, you know. So, but anyway, mm, yeah, so while I was there, I learned quite a few uh, tr uh, tricks, y'all, and because, you know, when you're in a situation, you know, you uh, have to do what you have to do, and so, you know, when it comes to the food process, you have to make it do what it do. So anyway, guys, I had already been telling you all that I was going to, you know, show you how, you know, to fix some of the... The food items that, you know, we used to come up with, you know, uh, in order not to um, be burdened down, you know, with the cafeteria food. So, you know, you had to come up with your own thing, guys. And, uh, you know, and I was blessed, you know, uh, you know, my family, you know, was always there for me. So I was blessed to be able to, you know, uh, purchase commissary items. And with those commissary items, yeah, you made it do what it do. Yeah, I was considered one of the... Uh, one of the top chefs. <laughs> I was considered one of the top chefs in prison, y'all. But anyway, look. So check this out. This was one of them. I'm going to show it to you because I made it up. I didn't let you see me make it. But anyway, this is huh, tuna because that was one of the items that we could purchase. Tuna, um, of course, the ramen noodles and, you know, with cheese, pickle, and um, yeah. Mayonnaise, mayo, yeah. We had the little mayo packets. You know, so anyway, I, this is a, oh, it's breaking. This is what you would call your own pizza on a plate. But actually, it's a hard shell burrito. Oh, okay, uh, you ASMR people, don't don't start hating because it's nice and crunchy. But anyway, I'm going to start getting it in because uh, I tasted it. And yeah, it was on slam. Yeah. It was not a slam, but it was on slam. <laughs> you guys, I say that because there's also another uh, dish. And, uh, you know, um, you know, I, mean, I don't know. A lot of you who didn't, you know, had, uh, who, who has unfortunately had the opportunity to uh, uh, browse the system or cruise through there. You know, you've heard of slams, but this is not one. This is just a hard shell burrito. And so I'm going to go ahead and put me a little hot sauce on there, y'all, because I'm ready to get it in. And yeah, uh, Bria Brachet, hey, sweetheart, that's my little sis, y'all. That's my new little sis, Bria Brachet. You know, and if you guys don't know uh, uh, of her channel, 
go ahead on over there and check her out. I really didn't uh, intend to really uh, shout that out like that because I, I don't know if we're supposed to be doing shout outs, but I'm going to do this one. Bria, hey, little sis. You know, and uh, yeah, I wanted to holler at her, and, and it's going to have a little bit to do with uh, my topic today because it's going to be very short. But anyway, let me go on and uh, get some of this evening, y'all. Yeah, I'm going to break it. I'm going to break it, y'all. Break it, break it. Yeah, so. Mm. I did say tuna, didn't I? Cause it is uh, on point. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. And just because I have access to other uh, ingredients, I, I didn't. I, I kept it the same way as if it was, you know, uh, when, I, uh, when we would make them in, uh, in prison. A hat day. Yeah. Y'all, it's been throwing down here. We were out running errands, <laughs> and uh, I didn't know if I was gonna be able to drive my car home. I mean, it was got it got super dark. Y'all know how I do. You guys know how it do when you know when it's threatening a a storm or even tornado warnings. I watched the challenge yesterday, y'all. And it was my girl, X Tina Grubbs. <laughs> and you believe me, X Tina Grubbed. <laughs> I think it was a challenge put forward by Queen Beast. And it was a challenge because who could eat a hundred chicken nuggets in 10 minutes? Woo. Let me tell you something, y'all. Extended wasn't burning none, y'all, because listen, she ate 43. 43 in 10 minutes. Doubt very seriously if I could have um, handled that. And if you guys are already not supporting her, go on over and check her channel out, y'all. I hope I don't lose any subscribers because uh, of shouting out, but I'm going to have to really investigate into that because I really like to support my supporters. And sometimes it means doing just this. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Yeah. This baby is all right. And no, I ain't have flashbacks because, you know, that was then, this is now. But I still didn't learn. You know, if you did uh, any time incarcerated or confined, however, you know, and you uh, picked up some nuggets along the way, which you definitely should have, you know, no, you don't have to forget what you learned. Mm. Mm, 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 
This baby. It's good. And, oh. If you're new to the channel, guys, uh, go ahead and view it. Check me out, y'all. Check me out. And give me a thumbs up, okay? Thank you. I thank you in advance. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up, guys. Like it. Like it and, um, you know, share and subscribe to my videos, guys. And listen, that's what the comment section is for. Get in there. I'm going to say this again because a lot of people... don't really know how that works, but listen, while you're watching the video, click on the video, and then while the video is uh, playing, scroll up, scroll up, scroll up, and you'll scroll past a series of uh, other videos, but uh, just keep scrolling until you get to the place where it'll say, add a comment, and guys do that, add a comment. You know, let me know you're there. You know, give me a shout out. Shout out. Shout me out. You know, or uh, say something about the content. Get in on this conversation with us, y'all. Let me know what y'all think about this uh, prison creation. And by the way. I made sure that this would this was my first meal of the day. Mm. You take these soft shells. This one got a little toasty, but it'll be used as a plate. You know, it's 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 what this is. And you put your food on top of it, but you know, they're really not all that hot left over just because whatever the content of your uh, uh, topping is, you know, eventually, you know, it'll uh, drip down through your crunchy taco and it'll get a soggy. Now, the, the food is still good, but, you know, not unless you want a soggy taco, a soggy burrito. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Shout out to my daughter, guys. You know, I really haven't heard anything other than what I've heard that I haven't shared with you guys. I talked to my granddaughter today and, you know, because we be watching like ID, the investigative discovery channel and, you know, snapped and, uh, for my man, we, you know, we watch that because I want her to know, you know, what, what's going on in the real world. I want her to know what to be on the lookout for. I want her to know, uh, you know, uh, the, the things that go on in this world that, uh, women, and men also have to really, really uh, be cautious of and be on the lookout for. So, she's getting ready to turn 11 next month. And, you know, I'm, I'm cramming. I'm cramming. I'm cramming everything that pertains to life and godliness into her, you know. So, you know, yes, I, because I don't want her to be ignorant of uh, the, the devil's devices and of, of the goings on of the world. I want her to be... Uh, uh, and, and that's with all my grandchildren. Uh, Excuse me. I just don't see the others as frequently, but believe one thing. When they see grandma coming, they know we're getting ready to have some kind of lesson. They know that uh, uh, I'm getting ready to drop some kind of nugget. Mm -hmm. So, you know, uh, that's just what that is. But, you know, I was, in, I was letting her know today that even though, you know, we believe we know who that perpetrator uh, is or was. We still, you know, can't harbor hatred in our hearts because of the offense that, it, that he uh, uh, took against us. We still can't um, harbor unforgiveness 
and I explained to her that we absolutely have to forgive, you know, and I'm not saying it's easy, but regardless of whether it's easy or not, it is a absolute must, you know, because, and I, uh, I explained to her why. We are an imperfect people, and we unknowingly a lot of times commit offenses on a daily basis because we all fall short of the glory of God. And so because we commit offenses, you know, or uh, may sin daily, unknowingly, you know, not intentionally, but however, you still want that to get covered, you know, and that's why, you know, uh, God availed a uh, repentance to us. Anyway, I let her know that as horrible as it was and as cheated as we feel and as hurtful as it is to us, you know, something that we'll never get over. Uh, we still cannot harbor unforgiveness toward that person in our hearts. You know, because God did say, and I explained this to her in a way that a child her age would understand, is that if we fail to forgive that person of his trespasses, against my daughter and against us, then our Heavenly Father will not forgive us of any trespasses that we, uh, or offenses that we commit against other people. So I most definitely can't uh, go on living knowing that I, you know, that I, you know, I fall short of the glory of God on a daily basis and, uh, but because I harbor unforgiveness in my heart toward another person, no matter of the offense, that, you know, my Father in Heaven is not uh, extending forgiveness towards me for the things that I've done. So, no, I need forgiveness on a daily basis. And, uh, you, you know, some of you, I'm sure, do also. But I, you know, so I had to explain that to her because I want her to know that even as bad as that, even as bad as it was, we still have to forgive him and uh, let justice take his course. We have to forgive them, him or them and uh, leave it up to God to do the rest. You know, so, yeah. So, yeah, and, and you know, and that's very important. And, I'm, and, I'm, and I hope I'm saying something to someone out there who, who has had a, a horrible offense committed to them and, you know, can't seem for the world to extend forgiveness to the, per, to the offender. Can't, you can't seem to, to uh, conjure up enough uh, a, a love or compassion in your heart to know that uh, uh, we're, we're imperfect. You know, some of, some of us are even, uh, some people have has even uh, acted monstrous toward, you know, the human race. But at the end of the day, it's still not up to us to, uh, to meet their punishment. So, you know... If you have unforgiveness in your heart towards someone who's done a terrible offense toward to you, but you can't seem to forgive them, listen, it's not even an option. You absolutely have to. And you have to if you care about what God feels about you. You have to forgive if you care that God forgives you. You have to forgive if, you know, and that's you, you know, one of these people who, you know, walk on water and you're not committing, committing any uh, forgivable offenses in which we know that that's not true. Do it for yourself. Don't do it for that person. Do it for you. To forgive another person does not mean that you have to uh, start kicking it with them again. To forgive another person does not mean that you're okay with what they've done. Doesn't mean that at all. You still feel what you feel about it. But to forgive another person is to set yourself free. Hmm. No one ever said it was easy. It's not. <clears throat> but it does set you free. It's just like, you know, I was saying, um, I'm not forgiving 
them for, for their sake. I'm forgiving them for mine. Yep. It, it's uh, it, it's self -motiv it's, it has a uh, It's self-motivated, guys. Um, I'm forgiving my offenders, you know, just in order so that I'll be, have a clean slate and have a clean heart in the eyes of God. Because, listen, we know how the flesh is. Cause so, so if it was up to me, <clears throat> wow, I'm not even gonna. Uh, I'm not even gonna say uh, how it would go down if it was up to me. Yeah, yeah, this was all that. And if and again, if you want to try it at home. It's not hard at all. Get you a pack of the soft shell burritos. I like to wet my, just get it a little damp before you put it in the microwave because that's how you harden the shell up. And don't burn it. <laughs> Don't burn it, but harden it to your satisfaction. Satisfa how, how, uh, to your own Christmas. Crispness. <laughs> when you go ahead and make your, uh, your topping up, ramen noodles, y'all. Ramen noodles, what they cost, uh, about 29 cents a pack. I always get them by the case. Because listen, uh, yeah. I keep a pile of ramen noodles up in here, and it's not because I don't cook, because you guys know better than that. But they come in so handy. And not only that, you know, uh, my son, too deep, too sleep. My son, Courtney, who is a prepper, uh, you know, a little bit of him then rubbed off on me because uh, whenever I uh, go to the store or whenever I get the opportunity, I, I try to overstock because, listen, y'all, we, we really don't know what tomorrow holds. We really don't. But I don't want to be caught sleep. I don't want to be caught sleeping, guys. But. Get you some ramen noodles. I call them, you know, just call them whatever you want to. Some people call them ramen. I call them ramen noodles. Cut you up some pickles. A meat of your choice, a canned meat, preferably, um, uh, because I also uh, could, uh, started to use um, um, canned chicken breast in here. But, you know, I thought uh, different of it and thought, you know, well, no, well, I'm just going to go with the tuna because uh, we do like tuna. And so um, get you uh, some tuna and uh, a little mayo, you know, and uh, go ahead and, and hook it up. Hook it up. And let me know. Let me know if you try it. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me know if you decide to try it. Because if you try it, you won't regret it. You will not regret it. <laughs> Woo, but I'll tell you what I am getting. I am getting stuffed. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. And put your little cheese on top of it. Now. That was filling. If you want to melt your cheese, you know, after you get it on your shell, go ahead and, you know, just uh, do it, just nuke it. Just, you know, throw, uh, do a quick shot on it and long enough to melt your cheese because you don't want to continue to cook your, your shell. But, so anyway, Bria, little sis, what I was going to say to you is, listen, I really am praying for you, sis, because listen, uh, you can beat that thing. You can beat it, and, 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 and this is not nothing that I'm putting out because this is her video. She uh, explained in her own video, you know, that uh, she uh, was dealing with a um, bipolar condition. I think that's what you said, Bria. <laughs> yeah, it is. But anyway, you know what? 
don't let it don't let that consume your life you know because you know she also talked about you know how some days you know it, it just would you know uh, take over and you know attempt to uh, uh, consume her. Well, no, listen, Bria, honey, I'm praying for you. And, uh, and you and I are even, even going to uh, get together because I want to do a prayer of agreement, uh, that where two or more are gathered together in his name, whatever we ask, the Bible says that he would do it. And you know what? And if, if God said it, I believe it. And that's it. It's a wrap, you know, and you know what? And he has never failed me. He has never failed me. Now, there, don't get me wrong. There's some things I'm still waiting for. Some things I'm still waiting on the manifestation of, but everything in my life indicates that help is on the way, <laughs> you know? And so, you know, God is good. You know, he's good like that. And so, you know, I just, whew, y'all, 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 y'all. Mm. Yeah, so I, I just believe, you know, that I receive whatever I ask of him because, you know, um, there, there's, uh, uh, that song, um, that, uh, that song that, uh, is by, um, our girl, y'all, won't he do it? Won't he do it? She said, I got mountains to climb. No, not me. You know, I don't know. It's something about when I get to that part of the song, I don't have mountains to climb. Cause you know why? The Bible said I could move them. The Bible says that I could speak to them. Speak to the mountains and tell them to be thou removed from me and be thou cast into the sea. You know, and so I don't, what I look like climbing a mountain when I can speak to it and tell it to move, you know? So yeah, Bria, little sis, uh, we're going to move that mountain, sis. We're going to speak to that thing. Uh, and because I, I'm praying for you, I'm praying for all my uh, supporters. Mm, y'all. And, and to, to my newbies, y'all are something special. You hear me? To my new uh, supporters, I, I just love you all. And you guys comes in with a bang. You guys come in like, you know, you've been knowing me for some years. <laughs> and I will, I love it. I love it. Because listen, because that's how I feel about you, though. Once we start the dialoguing and once we start supporting each other. And, you know, listen, guys, here's something else. I don't care how many uh, subscribers that you have. You know, it's just... Subscribers alone doesn't do the trick, and you know that. You guys, you, you all know that. So listen, do, you know, view our videos. I view yours. I view your videos. And don't get me wrong now, even if I can't view it to the end, I'm going to get enough watch time of that video in for it to count for you. Come on, y'all. If, if we're going to support each other, let's do that. Let's support each other. You know, uh, it's, it's room for everybody to win. You know, there is room for everybody to win. This platform is so huge until I don't think YouTube, uh, the creators are intimidated by any of us guys. Listen, we all are striving toward the same goal. And so let's just help each other. I love you guys. I love you all. And listen, I, I want you to win. I really do. Because I know when you win, you're going to keep on re uh, uh, reeling me in until you get me, ain't you? Yeah, so that's just really how it's supposed to be. You know, uh, let, let's help each other out. You know, watch each other's videos. Because listen, I'm just going to tell you something. A lot of people, and, and, and I, it probably won't even count for me. I noticed a few people who has uh, reached out to me, you know, and uh, to uh, support each other. You didn't even click on my video, period. You didn't even click on it. Not only did you not watch it, you didn't even click on it. And, and you know, I, and I can tell. That, you know, it, it, there's an a indicator there. Uh, I know when you did, and I know when you didn't. Check out the analytics. You, I can, you know, you, can, you know when, how long a person watched, how long a person viewed. So listen, come on, y'all. St stop, let's stop playing games. It, this, look, this is not, uh, it, and, and you know, it's very time-consuming. Very time-consuming. So listen, let's just, let's scratch each other's back. Because guess what? The sooner... That we are loyal, the sooner that we uh, are, are honest with each other, the sooner we, you know, uh, uh, put ourselves uh, uh, to the side and go ahead and try to uh, help out our fellow YouTuber, the sooner we can get where we're trying to go, guys. Come on. Come on. Let's do that. Let's do that. And you know what? And, and I, I just appreciate you. Uh, listen, and those of you who, who watch my videos, boy. 
the greatest of all times, guys. Uh, that's why I call you all goats. <laughs> the greatest of all times. Because you know what? Your loyalty is that. Your loyalty says that. And so, you know, and so guess what? And I'm right back at you. You know, it, it's just not, it's not a game. And, and um, it's hard work. It's very hard work. If you're not willing to put up this work, there's really no, no uh, purpose of even getting in this arena. But guys, I didn't even get on here to say all that, but I guess you know what? It just came down to it. So I said I wasn't going to be with y'all long. And you know what? I also said I'm going to quit saying that because <laughs> every time I say it, boy, the more that comes up, it gets to coming out. So uh, to those of you who uh, are still with me, or, uh, uh, hanging in there with me to the end, listen, got something for y'all. Got something for you. And so uh, uh, have an awesome day. You know, keep praying, guys. Listen, because we're headed upward. So keep praying. Keep praying and, you know, continue to stay hopeful. Keep hope alive and let your hope be in God. And know this, you're definitely in my prayers. And I hope I'm in yours. And so have an awesome day and stay in peace.